How's it going everyone? Lord UK here. Today we're going to be trying Shadows of Doubt. Shadows of Doubt is a detective game in an open world. You go about your business. Uh, I, I did the tutorial and uh, a note was slipped under my door and my hand was held quite a lot. But it did warn me that when you're playing it for real, there is no hand-holding at all. You have to find your own leads, you have to do everything, and use your brain. Which I absolutely love about this game. All the AI in the game have their own routines, so they have their own jobs, they go to work, they go home, they sleep, they eat, uh, they go to the bar and meet up with friends. It works absolutely perfectly with this type of game. There are indeed weapons in this game. Um, you can use melee weapons, you can also throw things. There are guns in the game, but you can't use guns. Now, I don't mind that. I mean, I wouldn't mind if you could. I don't mind if you can't. But the thing I like about you not being able to use guns is you have to use your brain. You have to think about running and hiding. You have to think about all of these things. And because of that, it really does get you invested in what you're doing. I love it. Now from what I've heard you can just go exploring and, and maybe by chance you're going to come across something before it gets reported. But I think the easiest way is to wait until you hear something on your your scanner, the, like the police radio. After that comes in it'll tell you where it happened so off you go. You need to be quick though because the police or enforcers as they're called in this game will be heading there too. What's that sound? Oh, there we go, look at that! Just as I was mentioning it, there we have a new murder case. Where is it? Explore reported crime scene, 302 Mayo building. Hold on, aren't I in the Mayo building? Let's lock my door so people don't just come strolling in. 303, okay, so it's this floor, it's my neighbour, my next door neighbour has been murdered. Okay, so I'm guessing this door's locked, yep, under the mat. There's a key, wow, that really does blend in with the floor, but we've got the key. Let's get ourselves in here, and somewhere in here we're, oh, I already see blood. Oh dear very ritualistic looking. So in the tutorial it was saying one of the first things you should do, let's lock this, is look for an escape route. And I think that would be a good idea. That's a mirror. So what we're looking for is an air vent. Uh, I really should search the body though. I do need to get some clues or I'm not going to know where I'm going. Um, oh look, there's an air vent. Uh, why can't I jump up there? Oh, I don't like that, but there is a way out. Some blood spatter up the wall. What is this? Crumpled paper. Let's play. Oh, no. Okay, well, we'll pin that to our board. We don't want to lose that information. And I'm going to have to work out what that means. Right, let's check this body over. So, first of all, I shall take a fingerprint. And let's also inspect unknown citizen. We have a face. We have a fingerprint. So, let's get more information. Let's search. A hammer. Um, you, you can take items, this here, but I, I don't think I need to be taking a hammer. A wound caused by a sharp object or blade. Entry wound. Bad times. From examining the body, it appears that the victim has been slashed to death by a bladed weapon. I can determine that the time of death is between 9 and 9.35, Monday, January the 2nd, 1979. And it's 9.35 now, so it really was. I, I was in my apartment next door when this was happening. Okay, we've got some inf information here. Their work rotor, Raphael Hassan. 
So he was a janitor. Is that information on here now? No, it's not. Oh, I, I guess that's because on my file it says unknown citizen. And I need the name. So if I click this, there we go. Now we have him. But we just need to link those two together. Uh, I don't think there's anything else I can do to the body. Okay, let's let's keep looking around. There's a key there, but we don't need that. Hmm, what's in here? Okay, this is the bathroom. And there's another escape route there as well. That's handy. I think I'll go through that one if I... Uh-oh! Somebody in the bedroom. I think that's an enforcer. Let's hang out in here for a bit and see if they come in. Okay, I've been hanging around for a bit and yes, they are at the door. He wants to come in. So, unfortunately, I better get the hell out of here. Open the door immediately. No one's home. Okay, so I want to get out of here. Um, do I want to go through here? I think I'm going to go down a floor. I'll feel uh, like I'm less suspicious if I do it this way. I suppose I might as well sort this out. Uh, the game completely pauses once you go into this um, view. Uh, I hardly have any information. We've got Raphael Hassan here, Hassan. We know that they are linked, so we might as well create this link. I will no doubt have to solve this uh, crumpled paper, but yeah. Okay, we've made it down. Uh, it's someone else's apartment. Hopefully no one's home. Let's see. Let's have a little peek under the door. Wow, that's... <laughs> can't really see a thing there. You would see the bottom of their feet, I suppose. All the lights are off, so... Ah, and here's the door. Of course it's locked, so we've got to pick that. Wonderful. Okay, let's... Ooh, let's get out of here. Good, good. Doesn't look like anyone's suspicious. Oh, oh god, there's an enforcer right there. Stop following me. Is he saying that to me? Or? I have no idea. Okay, so now we're outside in this city. Let's go into this building here, because we need to find a city directory. And there's one right there. Oh, a hairpin. Yes, please. Okay, so... Let's see what information we have and we can try and search up on. We know that he had a job but we, as a janitor, but what we don't know is where. He was a building janitor. We got his work hours, but we just don't know what building. So we can't search where he worked. I suppose what I'll do is head to the, the city hall. It says I need to collect a murder case resolution form from the city hall, so let's go and do that. Set a route. Okay, let's head over there now. I know you have uh, hunger and thirst in this game. There's also cleanliness, so you can smell, so you need to clean yourself. Uh, you can get wet and then cold. I'm, I'm not sure if there's a tiredness? If you get sleepy in this game? I have no idea. I haven't played long enough to know. Right, well here we are. City Hall. Get resolution for. Okay, the Red Gum Reaper, did that say? Red Gum Reaper. Yep. I love the little typewriter tapping sound as it's writing out. So cool. Okay, so we want to open up this. Get rid of that as we are here. Um, so here we go. So we need to know the full name of the killer. Uh, we can optionally arrest the killer. Do you have evidence that places the killer at the crime scene? Also optional. Where does the killer live? Optional. Have you located the murder weapon? Optional. 
Now, I will try and do all of them. Try. But this is my first proper one, so we'll see. Okay, so there's not really much I can do apart from trying to figure this out. So give me a while and I will try it. Silly me, I've only just noticed that this has to be a name. There's like a single letter, then a dot, and then the rest of them. So I'm going to go through this book now and see if I can find a name that has TH in it. Unless their first name has a T or H in it, then damn. But anyway, catch you guys soon. Well, hey, I've only gone and found it. K. Tombre? Tombre? I have no idea how to pronounce the B R E part. Tombre? Could it even be Thombre? Who knows? But there they are. So we'll give this a click. They live in the Mayo building, the same building as me. So let's plan a route and let's head on over there. Back out into the rain. I really need an umbrella like the rest of these people. Okay, here we are at the Mayo building yet again. They're on the 15th floor landing. Does that mean it's the top floor? They've got the penthouse. She was really eyeballing me. Yeah, 15, top floor. Okay, let's go up here. I'll cut this so you don't have to watch me just sliding up. Okay, we're here. 15 floors later. And it is the top floor. This is the only room. Let's knock. Well, it doesn't seem like anyone's in. Do they have a key under here? Damn, they don't. Okay, hopefully I can pick the lock then. Doesn't look like there's any cameras around, so that's good. Five picks? Goodness me. Okay, well... Well, five picks lighter, and we are through. Ah, the lights are on. Oh, okay, and I saw a red laser, so that means they've got a camera. That will detect me. Normally you can turn the lights off and the cameras won't pick you up. Whoa! But if it's one of those, I think as soon as that beam touches you, it's going to spot you. So this is going to be difficult. Let's go, 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 go. What's in here? A dark, dark room and another camera by the looks of it. You can also tamper with cameras like directly if you can reach them, but I'm not sure about these cameras. There's normally a place you can deal with them, a computer. Uh, I think they call them crunches in this game. Okay, let's try and find another room that's not so secure. Ah, oh, a not so exciting bathroom. I suppose I could turn the lights on in here, couldn't I? Don't really want to be searching a bathroom though, looks quite immaculate in the dark. Is there a door here? Yes, there's one. Okay, we've got a room with a safe in it. Their phone. Oh, the lights didn't do much here. Okay, let's see what we've got here. We've got some shoes, we have a size 11 boot. Um, should I pin that? Yeah, I think I'll pin the boot, just in case it's relevant. There was a soul one here. Size 8 boot. We'll pin that too. Now, I do have a um, fingerprint scanner. So, let's use that. See if we can pick up some prints. Yeah, we've got one. Type B. We don't know who it belongs to, but we have it. Another type B. We already have that pinned, so we don't need to re-pin that. Ah, type C fingerprint here. Two size boots, two people. Type 
type B. So whoever type B is, they have a size 8. Birth control pills. We have a key. We'll definitely take that. What the hell is that? It sounds like a TV's on or something. Is there someone here? Uh oh. No. No, no one's here. And the cameras are still on too. I think they turn off when the occupants are here. Maybe it was just a neighbour. Just been freaking out standing by the front door. <laughs> okay, what have we got here? Another very dark room. Oh, and the camera can glimpse in briefly. We'll have to be careful of that. I don't see any escape routes either. See if there's anything hiding behind this. Nope. There's a gramophone over here, a book. Anything up here? A leaflet. And another book. What's this leaflet about? To rise is your right. Wealth is sweet and profit is for the hungry. Yeah, typical penthouse behaviour, that. Okay, I'm going to head to the kitchen next, I think. Avoiding the cameras. And it's go time. Go, 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 go. Okay, we're in the kitchen. At least we have this to hide by. Everything here is so clean and tidy. I just need to find out who lives here. Could search their bin. Nothing. Okay, um, let's have a look this side. I think I'm just going to have to go back to that um, other room that had the camera in. It must have a camera there for a reason. Empty drawers. What, have they just moved in or something? Salt. <laughs> Shopping list. We've got one of their handwriting right there. Let's see if we've got any prints on it. I mean, there should be. Type C on the pamphlet. Type C on the shopping list. Oh, a hairpin. Okay, I came back to this room because I remember seeing a calendar. Let's have a look if there's anything noteworthy on here. Katrina Lucas birthday. Can't click on it though, so I guess take a mental note of it. Krishna Tombre. Natalie Carter. Well, that didn't really help. Okay, so we're back in this room. Let's turn the light on. At least we can see better. We got money. You can be uh, a, a crooked private investigator. Oh god, yeah. How did I forget about that? Can I? I can't reach it, can I? Nope. Yeah, as I was saying, you can be crooked. You can just take money, take things. You can do all of that. Um, I might do. Oh wait, hold on. Remember your passcode this time. Krishna. Passcode, year you were born. Shred this once memorised. Well, we'll definitely pin Krishna. Uh, should we? Yeah, let's pin the note too. We'll stick that over here. Keep it all grouped together. We'll link that to Krishna. And let's get rid of this. How do we... Oh, hide. There it is. Nice. Okay, so that note is now linked to Krishna. Remember your passcode. The thing is, we don't know when she was born. We just know a name. B. 
business card. Butterscotch Management. Krishna Tombre. Company Director. I suppose I should have expected that living in such a classy apartment. Um, so do we have their information or do I need to pin the business card to get it? I guess I need to pin it. So let's do that. Let's bring it down here and connect it up with this profile. Um, right, what else do we have here? What fingerprints do we have here? Type C fingerprints on the note. And I'm guessing she wrote the note to herself. So we can assume that she is type C. So let's drag that over there. Let's link it up to Krishna. I believe you are type C. Uh, I can't remember which boot. Oh, okay. So the size 8 was type B. This size 11, mighty, is Krishna. But we don't have that information. They didn't have their fingerprint on the boot. So let's link that to the type B. And let's see if we can spot any more fingerprints around here. Type C on the business card. Pistol ammunition. Well, I definitely don't want to uh, come across them in their apartment. Size 11 boot. Does it have a fingerprint so we can make the connection? Oh, typical. Nope. No, this does not have a fingerprint on it. Oh, there's a fingerprint on the bed, though. Type B on this side of the bed. That's confusing. And we have a ring in that drawer. Here's a hairpin, lovely. We're on the other side, by the way. CL, remember your passcode this time. 2795. Who is CL? I mean, CL's got to be the type B fingerprint that I've been coming across. So if we click CL, that's all the information we have on them. Let's pin them and then let's link them up to this because I'm, I'm almost certain they are the type B. We'll link this note to them as well. Okay, lovely. We're getting more information. We just need to get full names. Preferably faces too. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That drawer pushed me. What is this? Paxadol. Whoever's on this side of the bed has pain problems. Anything in these drawers? Really don't want that laser to spot me. Empty. Okay, let's check over here. Oh, we have files. Ah, oh, amazing. Oh, the, the camera goes right on it, so I'm going to have to check once and then run back. What do we have here? So, first file. Employment contract. Krishna Tombre. We have a full name. So, we want to pin that. That needs to replace this Krishna without a last name, so we'll get rid of that. Oh, look at that. Everything linked. Oh, wonderful. Okay, let's head back. All right, here we are again. Katrina Lucas. There's the CL. So, we'll pin them. Get rid of this one. Oops. There we go. Okay, let's run back and we'll check the next file. A doctor's prescription. Who's it for? Katrina Lucas. Chronic pain, migraines. Oh, bad times. Oh, there's multiple pages too. High blood pressure, diabetes. Core. Cool. What have we got next? A tenancy agreement between the landlord and Krishna Tombre. I um, don't think there's any information we need from here. Well, we have their signature. 
And here we have Katrina Lucas's bank statement. Katrina Lucas. Any unusual purchases? Late fees, clinic fees. Doesn't look like it. Lobby systems pay slip. No. Nothing unusual. I can hear that radio sound again. A certificate of birth for Krishna Tombre. Female. 8.6 pounds. Got their date of birth. Their blood type. And they, of course, live in Lordsville. Nice. Okay, we have the birth certificate. Okay, I'm over at the table by the door now. Um, let's just see what this camera does. Goes directly above it. And, whoa, whoa. Goes by the door. Okay, so I should be fine standing around here. A calligraphy set. A set of pens and parchments used for the art of calligraphy. Interesting. I mean, there's nothing special about this writing, is there? So... Okay, let's check these drawers out. Is that, oh, is that a letter? No, it's part of the calligraphy set. Empty, empty. In here, nothing. Cough medicine and some money. So there's nothing really round here. Well, we have their names and where they work, so... Oh, <laughs> not quite sure why I knocked, but there we go. Okay, let's get ourselves to the ground floor. I just thought, I, I should really go back to the crime scene, um, and I need to find the address. Just thought I could go to the city directory, I can then find his name, uh, Raphael. We'll go by last name, wouldn't we? There we go. R. Hassan. He was my neighbour. I know that much. But I, I don't know how to find my place. Oh, God, it's snowy out here. Oh, okay, it was right next door. Let's get ourselves to the third floor. Hopefully there isn't any forces hanging around. Okay, here we are. Oh, look, I see an enforcer already. And they've put tape over the door. Here's my apartment. Let's just see if there's been any notes slipped under the door or anything. No, it doesn't look like it. Here's the door, and there's an enforcer over there. Do I just... I don't want to risk just walking in. Is the door even unlocked? Should we try opening it? Okay, it's not locked. Okay, let's hang around until he leaves. Oh, is that another enforcer? Okay, he's off. He's off. Let's get in here quickly. Close this door. Okay, we need to be quiet. And we need to get some more information. Because I'm sure there is lots that I missed here. Um, I need my fingerprint reader. Have we got a fingerprint on here? We do. Type C. Hello. That's Krishna's. I mean, I, I'm... I haven't officially made that connection, but from shoes, notes that she's left herself, there's a Type D fingerprint on the the fridge. Don't know who Type D is. I imagine Raphael would be Type A. Maybe Type D is the enforcer? And we can't lock the door. 
what's this? Type E fingerprint, yeah. We, we don't want to be checking fingerprints on door handles. Not after everyone's been in here. Type D. It's, oh, there's a type A fingerprint. So who's type D? They touched the key. They touched the fridge. Interesting. Okay, well there's your fingerprint. Type D, I have no idea who you are. And we found matches to type C, so that's nice. So we can link her to the crime scene. And, I mean, to be fair, she's got to be the one that did it. If her fingerprint's on that note... H. Does that say paid? Creepy sounds. Okay, let's have a quick look around. Where haven't I looked? Just a strange place. It does have an air vent, though, if I need to escape. I'll probably escape through the air vent. Uh, let's check the phone and see what the last number called was. Uh, identify last caller. Unable to get last caller information. So does that mean that they were... The number's blocked or he didn't make any calls? Hmm... Got a wrench, dumbbell. Oh, handcuffs. I'll take those. Advertisement. Just all sorts of junk. A skull. Interesting. Ah, his wallet. Has a key. Has his picture. Do we need to... Oh, there we go. The information is updated on my board. We'll take the key. What is this? Oh, he was an organ donor. Okay, we, we have it all linked now. We know who he is. We have his picture. Oh, look, and he has a work ID. So he worked at Royal Born. Royal Born Management. She works at Butterscotch Management. So I wonder how they knew each other, or if this was just... It, this can't just be a random murder. Not with the, the symbol on the floor and the strange note on the wall. And the playing a game, crumpled paper. All very strange. I don't know what the connection is, but let's organise this a bit better. So, Krishna, you are our main suspect. That's over there. Okay. I don't know if Katrina Lucas is in on this. I have no idea. But that's where we want to go next. Butterscotch management. Okay, here we are. They are on the fifth floor, apparently. So let's go up there. Uh, no, let's take the lift. We still don't know what she looks like. Right, here is the office. Uh, looks like we're allowed in this part, so that's good. Hello, unknown citizen. There's their office part. Let's have a chat with you. Afternoon, what's your name? None of your business. That's an unusual name. Uh, have you seen or heard anything unusual? Do you know this person? Nothing to do with you. You are so helpful. What else can we say? Provide their fingerprints. Spare any change. No, I don't want to pay her. Goodbye. 
Nice talking to you. Yeah, yeah. It wasn't nice talking to you. What, what are these pictures here? Oh, employee photos. Krishna Tombre, company director. We've found you. There is her picture. We have it. So we know what she looks like. We know her full name. Really, we could solve the case right now. We could resolve it. And hope that I'm right. There she is. 45. So I have a choice to make. I can either hang around and wait for her and see if I can make the arrest. Or, now that I have all the information I need, I could just fill out the form to resolve the case. Um, what is the full name of the killer? Do you have evidence that places them there? Yes, I do. This crumpled paper it has her fingerprint on it. I'm not sure if I need to choose that or her fingerprint. But, I mean, we'll choose that and we'll see if it works. Where does the killer live? Um, killer lives right there. 150 Mayo building. Have you located the murder weapon? I have not. It's probably on them. What is the full name of the killer? Krishna Tombre. Okay, we, we have all we need. I mean, everything is optional apart from the full name part. Haven't arrested them. and It is tempting to hang around, but let's go to the hand-in location. To the ground floor. Oh, I'm getting thirsty. Need to get myself a drink. Can I get one from here? Yes, I can. Sugar daddy. Let's get a cola. Nice. Starch cola. That sounds very potato-y. Wow, I'm a thirsty boy. Hydrated, nice. Okay. Oh look, it's literally opposite. That's handy. Why am I still holding this cola? Can I not? I've got to throw it. Okay. Oh, no funny business. Sorry. Okay, case submitting for processing. Please wait for results. Okay, processing. Full name of the killer, correct. Arrest the killer, no. Evidence that places them there, no. Where does the killer live, yes. And weapon, no. Solved! Ah, oh, yes. Perfect. I'm so glad that that was the right person. 250 social credits. 1,050 credits, that's nice. My social credit level has gone up to level 3. Sync disc upgrade vial. Uh, I don't think that's a reward for me because the take button is red. But I do want it, so I'm going to take it from behind her and hopefully that will work. Got it. Sh she didn't notice. Okay, let's, let's move away from them because I don't like the look of that icon. Unfortunately, that's all we've got time for this episode. Thank you so much for joining me on this. I really do appreciate it. Please like and subscribe, and I'll catch you all next time. Cheers!